other interview tip I've got for you is no matter how you left your old company, whether it was under a bit of a cloud or you harbour a bit of animosity or resentment, it's important not to criticise your old company to your prospective new employer. I'm going to give you an example now of someone in an interview who, let's say, left their ex-employer in less than favourable terms. I saw on your CV that you've been at the same company for a number of years. What's made you want to leave and come and want to work for us? Yeah, well, I worked there for nearly two years and it was a great workplace and a new manager came in and we just didn't see eye to eye. And then Jenny from accounts started sticking a beak in, started getting involved. Anyway, next thing, I'm placed into this investigation meeting. I've got six people making complaints about me. So I told them how it worked. I said, you're unprofessional and you're a toxic work environment. So this is why I'm here. Can you give me an example of a stressful situation, how you managed to overcome it? <laughs> stressful situation? My old company! And how did you overcome it? <laughs> I left! If you had quite a high workload and was given a tight deadline, how would you liaise with your team in order to complete the task? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. Let it pile up on my desk like Jenny from accounts and delete emails and stick it in shredder. <laughs> so what are your thoughts? Well, for starters, it's turned what was supposed to be a positive interview into a highly negative interview. And we saw that the interviewee's negativity spiralled and created a domino effect, meaning that every further question was just met with the same negativity that we showed in the first question. Everyone's got reason for leaving old employers, but when you get to the interview, you need to leave all that at the door and focus on two things, being positive and selling yourself.